Hey everyone, I'm Sly, and I'm here with Flo. And today we're going to talk about Ross Dwelly signing a one-year deal with the 49ers. Now Flo, Ross Dwelly was kind of quiet last year with, I think, only four catches. But he's someone that I like a lot. I like him in the passing game. I don't like him in the run-blocking game. What are your thoughts on this sign? Uh, solid signing overall for Ricky and Ross Dwelly. Yeah, he had a down year last year, but that's because, well... Kittle gets majority of the uh, starting snaps, and he rarely comes off the field unless he's hurt. However, Kittle has shown that he does get injured, so it's always nice having that solid uh, backup tight end, and that's what he is. He's just a really, really solid backup tight end. He's not really a starting material, but he doesn't have to be. Um, another reason why I like this pickup, too, is for Trey Lance. Trey Lance is familiar with him. We're not going to have to bring in someone new that he hasn't seen before because that's more... Uh, reps that you have to give to that guy so it, I think it makes it easier on Trey Lance as well so I mm -hmm. like uh, that pickup for those two reasons yeah when we picked him up as an undrafted free agent in 2018 he was the one guy actually that I liked the most out of the draft class from San Diego State he was the guy that was oh shoot this guy has catching potential I remember watching his highlights like dude this guy has hands like he has really great hands and it translates that to the NFL. He looked really good. He looked really good in the preseason when I remember his first year and so on. The only thing is, like I said, Kyle Shanahan has him blocking a lot. And I hate that because he's not good at blocking. He's horrible at blocking. Look at the PFF grades every year. He's very bad. But when he's pass catching, the guy could get open. Remember that in 2019, he had a big year. Not like as far as like stats wise, but he had, I remember that big third down conversion against the Cardinals at the end of the game where in Halloween, that Halloween game where he sealed the deal. Remember we played against the Cardinals in another game. He had two touchdown passes when Kittle was hurt. Like you said, Kittle gets hurt a lot. So, I mean, if we use him though in the right way, I think it could be a big pickup, I mean, a big re-signing for us. It's just that he got to, you got to let Charlie Warner Kittle, you gotta have them do the blocking. Don't let Dwelly do the blocking. Let him do the catching. I'm telling you, he's a really great pass catcher. He really is. So I like the signing. Adds more um, depth, like you said, familiarity with Trey Lance, and they have a little familiarity from last year. So it's a good signing. We'll probably, maybe, I think we'll probably draft another uh, tight end in the draft. But I like it. I like Dwelly. I like what he brings to the table. Big guy, I think six foot four, six foot five, big dude. So I like it, man. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a good uh, target as far as receiving tight end. So I like that. And then, yeah, you just need to give Kittle his breaks, obviously. Um, Dwally does our catchy, and then uh, Charlie the Warner. Charlie Warner, yeah. he, he'll be our uh, extra blocking tight end. So mm -hmm. it gives Kittle a break, so it takes some um, possessions off of him throughout the season, you know? Yeah. So overall, great pickup by the Niners. Happy to have Dwally back. Hopefully he uh, shows some of the flashes from earlier in his career and kind of has, like, bigger games this year. So we'll see what happens with him. Yeah, guys, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.